The problem with Chinese drywall, and I, I want to qualify what Chinese drywall um, refers to, there's the names have changed around. People refer to it as Chinese drywall, um, defective, toxic, corrosive. It's kind of boiled down to being called corrosive drywall because there is drywall that comes from China and it doesn't have any problem. There's also drywall that we're finding from other areas, possibly within the United States. We know that there are some from possibly Canada that has a problem. So calling it Chinese drywall is really doesn't represent it right. The name that's been assigned to it by the Consumer Product Safety Commission is corrosive drywall. So what's the problem with corrosive drywall? It contains elemental sulfur. When they mine the gypsum out of the earth to make the drywall out of gypsum, it had a high level of elemental sulfur. Now all drywall has some elemental sulfur in it. The levels coming out of China and some of these other areas were much higher. So what happens when that um, elemental sulfur gets hot or moist, uh, and that's where primarily this drywall is delivered into the areas where we find the high moisture, high humidity, it off-gasses what's called hydrogen sulfide, H2S, and other sulfur gases. That actually off-gasses a lot of different uh, VOCs, volatile organic compounds, but it mostly is giving off sulfur gases. Those sulfur gases like H2S corrode copper, actually damage that copper to the point where air conditioning um, uh, coils can fail, uh, copper plumbing uh, connections can fail, wiring can fail. Um, so that's what it does. This H2S actually eats the copper. It eats silver too, but you don't find a lot of silver in homes. So that's what's causing the problem within uh, corrosive drywall.